my dearest friends, yesterday I was in inspired. I was inspired by Ben or Benjamin, my personal trainer. I work out with him once a week and then uh, we create a homework for me for the rest of the week. And every time we work out together, we have a beautiful conversation about exercise, about health. And yesterday the conversation was around mitochondria and Ben uh, actually was asking me uh, to teach him the mitochondria. And it's my favorite organ now. I was so inspired because guys, mitochondria is life. There is a mitochondrial theory of aging. What does it mean mitochondria is life? Uh, mitochondria is that organelle or multiple organelles in different cells that gives us energy. And energy in the cell via something that is called ATP, doesn't matter the, uh, the terminology, gives us life. If there is no energy produced by the mitochondria, the cell will die. So uh, that's not it about mitochondria. Mitochondria controls our DNA. That's how it is important. However, mitochondria is also a cellular police. Mitochondria is that critical organelle that searches when the cell becomes too old or becomes dysfunctional or maybe disease, it executes a command to, to kill, to basically self-destroy. It's a suicide. It's a command for the cell to commit a suicide, cellular suicide. And there are a whole lot more functions of the mitochondria in terms of metabolism of calcium and heme, aka iron, and more and more and more. So mitochondria is absolutely critically essential for our well-being. Now, ask yourself a question. Is my mitochondria okay? And how do how do we check? Do I feel fatigue? Do I feel that at two, three o'clock, I really need some caffeine to pick me up or I need a nap? Do I feel that I have a brain fog and my memory is lapsing? Or actually, do I feel that I feel like I'm old or something like, you know, I feel like sluggish. Your mitochondria needs a tune-up because these are the indications that mitochondria is not functioning to 100%. Again, so how do we, it's a very short Zoom. I'm so inspired just to bring this very critical sort of, you know, uh, points of uh, a little bit of a knowledge. So what do we do? Everything starts with our lifestyle. Number one, it's a water. We need to stay hydrated. Mitochondria is full of water. But the water that mitochondria, normal mitochondria uses has to be clean. So it's up to me to decide what type of a water I choose. Like I don't drink tap water. I, you know, I purify my water in many, many ways. And at the end of this uh, presentation, I'll give you the link to my website. So you can always ask me a question. So water, then food, very simple food, very simple steps. Actually, how do we tune mitochondria? We actually have to start eating less. If you minimize your daily caloric, your normal, up to age daily caloric intake, just very, very minimal by 10, 12%. You're tuning up your mitochondria in light of your regular exercise. So that's part number three. So your hydration, your regular exercise. And mind you guys, do not over exercise. That is not good for the mitochondria. So you need to exercise well regularly. Let's say in my case, it have to be has to be every day. And you know, my goal is 
some sort of uh, uh, heart uh, bringing to the speed activity, maybe like between 20, 25 to 30 minutes. However, you know, I'm lucky I've got a dog, so I walk a lot. So every day walk, go to the uh, to the woods. It's called, Japanese called it uh, forest bathing. Uh, Western medicine calls it grounding. So some sort of a moderate exercise, not over exercising because then you're stressing out and damaging your mitochondria. And then in conjunction with a little less food, however, very dense caloric food, nutrient dense food, and no, it doesn't mean no carbohydrates because your mitochondria utilizes oxygen and foods in terms of broken down carbohydrates or fats to give us that energy. And then how do we take care of the mitochondria two ways? We either reboot or tune up the old one we need to stimulate the production of the new ones. So there are different ways. Let's say simple ways. You've heard green tea, EGCG. You've heard uh, resveratrol. You've heard uh, quercetin. You've heard coenzyme Q10. You, I'm sure you've heard uh, carnitin. Carnitin actually is in... Uh, my favorite fish, but it has to be wild fish. And more and more and more. Uh, so again, becoming sort of healthier, tuning up your mitochondria, trying to make new mitochondria, taking care of your memory and your functionality doesn't start with the pills. You start with a simple lifestyle changes and commitment. Water, exercise, diet, proper proper hydration, let's say, as I, as I mentioned, green tea per se. And then, only then we start uh, looking into some supplementation regime. If kind of I uh, spoke or spike up some interest in you learning more about mitochondria, please send me a note. Go to my website, Health with Sveta, www.healthwithsveta.com. So thank you very much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend and great week.